not your typical trail traffic for a Thursday night at Bower Ponds. In fact, it's probably fair to say it's the most young people ever seen here at one time. But why? Pokemon Go, man! Catch them all. <laughs> uh, we're playing Pokemon Go, man. It's all about catching rare Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> this is a 90s kids thing all the way, man. Yeah. I personally played Pokemon for the first time when I was in kindergarten. And so like, I'm 26 years old and I'm like jacked over this game that might seem childish, but like, I'm not the oldest person here. A Facebook meetup post drew over a thousand, maybe even two, avid Pokemon Go players to Bower Ponds. Oh, the Pokemon meetup. <laughs> oh, we heard about it on Facebook. I like, I'm running into grandparents and parents and kids that are like four or five years old. Like, it doesn't, it, this is cross generations. It's brought people together that normally would never hang out together in a common space. I'm even seeing guys like 40, 50 some years old out there trying to catch some Pokemon. It's great. Yeah. They traveled through the trails to play the game and find Pokemon characters on their phones. They hunted by foot, wheels of all sorts, and even paddled through the ponds to find Pokemon. It's either they're boarding, they're bicycling, they're running, like whatever it is, they're all going. Like it's yeah. just, it's a community. This Pokemon phenomenon has taken Red Deer by storm. Actually, like to explain it in words almost seems impossible. Um, <laughs> One app released completely changing a community, really. Yeah, it's crazy how many people actually come out here and, and, and we're talking with all these different people everywhere, uh, yeah. not just here at Bower Ponds, everywhere, all over the city. On this night, gamers found... Lapras. We got a Lapras not too long ago. Everyone shouted that one out. It was a little bit of a stampede just, just for the Lapras. I'm actually getting one right now. It's right here. We were on that side of the bridge. A few seconds later, we were on that side of the bridge, so... <laughs> Nope, missing them right now, unfortunately. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually harder than it looks. You hear something, it's like, oh, we got a rare. All of a sudden, you got freaking 30, 40 people running full tilt. All right, I got him. I got him. So it's like everywhere you go, it's a treasure. Sometimes, like, you'll catch the things that are very common in the area, and once in a while, that, that big Pokemon will catch up, and you, you just give her. You go get it. Even Pikachu and Spandy Andy made appearances. Um, I'm here to catch Pokemon. Come on, don't you know that? I don't know how more obvious I can make it, except I don't have my Pokedex in my hand right now. While many people think Pokemon Go is a bit crazy, get this. It's kind of funny too, because social media is taking it on a different way. Like, Everyone's like, oh man, all these kids are out and they're like walking in the way and they're walking on the streets and, like they're on their cell phones. It's like you look like a couple months back, everyone's complaining that gamers never get out. Like we never get out, we never do anything. So now we're out. Look at us. <laughs> Getting we're, our we're, exercise. We're walking farther than the football players. <laughs> I've definitely been walking a lot more outside since this came out. Oh yeah. Like yeah, at least what, 20, 20 kilometers sure. a day? Yeah. <laughs> I actually like the aspect that it takes you outside in the community and uh, you know, you're more active and uh, as opposed to being at home or staying indoors. Because of this game, people are getting active. It's a brilliant way to make a game. You have to move in order to hatch your eggs to get a new Pokemon. Well, I gotta move because I need that new Pokemon. <laughs>